Yo, it's Mark from the Geek Church here. Today we're gonna drop some knowledge on you with this keyboard from Drop. This is the CST-M80 mechanical keyboard. We're gonna open it up, unbox it, try it out right after this. Okay, I've reviewed Drop products in the past before. I've even reviewed their keyboards before. And uh, last time I think I reviewed one of their headsets. Uh, it's been a while, so I'm just going to open her up and see what's inside, shall we? We shall. And what's inside is hmm, some nice instructions here. Something tells me we're going to need those. And this is the keyboard itself. Came in a little plastic here. It's got some interesting things here. It's got this big metal thing here. I don't even know why you would need that. Uh, I guess it's conducive to something. Ooh, yeah, looks like you plug in something here. Uh, um, I feel like something's missing. What is mi- Oh, 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 okay. Um, yeah, as you can see, there are no, uh, the keyboard is not really labeled. Or is it? Yeah, it is. This isn't one of those, uh, I think it's Matthias. Uh, that's a keyboard I've reviewed in the past before. Been a while, though. Uh, I think I reviewed a keyboard like that that didn't have any, um, that was a keyboard that just was completely blank. Uh, this also, I want to make sure that, uh, I remember, let's see, I was trying to take this out and I discovered something. Why can't I discover that again? Hmm. Eh. Uh, yeah, anyway, this thing just pops right off. Uh, I guess these things just kind of, uh, uh, yeah, uh, this is what it looks like uh, when it's naked, uh, for lack of a better term. Uh, but essentially, yeah, uh, you can get like all kinds of different colors on these with all different designs. I think that's something really cool. Okay, before I plug this in, I want to make sure that I've got everything out of the box. Uh, this sort of should be a category in my review. Is everything out of the box? You know, now that I think about it. Uh, so, let's see. Hmm. I'm seeing uh, the connection cord, uh, something that I definitely am going to need. And then I'm also seeing, oh, so keys, uh, interesting. Is there anything else in here? I don't really see much, uh, but just some foam and stuff. So yeah, uh, sometimes these things have like the, like, a, uh, like this thing that looks like a pair of tweezers, so you can like uh, yank these out. And since this is a mechanical keyboard, uh, very light touch, don't, don't you think? Uh, a lot of times uh, it's based on like click or something. There's like these certain uh, things in here that make the clickers happen. You know what? I'm not doing a very good job of explaining this. Maybe I can put this in my article. <laughs> uh, maybe we should just connect this and see what happens. Okay. You know, even though it came with the charging cord and stuff like that, or not the charging cord, but, uh, you know, a connectivity cord, um, I actually just try, I want to try something here. I just got, uh, okay, first thing I want to make sure is I get this thing on right. Um, but you know what? I just got a USB to, USB-C to USB-C cord. And I'm just going to plug her in. And we're going to see what happens. And what might happen is going to startle you. Oh. Yeah, man. When I plugged this in uh, the first time, I was pretty jacked to see this. And hey, didn't I mention these keys are blank? Well, they're not. Uh, if I get a little closer here, you can see that the keys are very much lit. Uh, the thing is that instead of putting the uh, indicators on top, they're on the side. But you know what? I like this look, and I like this look a lot. You know what? I think I'm going to kill a few lights here just so you can uh, get a better view of this. Oh, Mark in the Dark. <laughs> yeah, this is something we usually don't do very often. Uh, just to make sure, I want to just double check a few things. Okay, we are attached uh, to the computer here. Um, and this is, I think this is for gaming. So, um, you know how it is when you got the WSD over here that you're doing. And maybe we'll try this out in a game and maybe we can do a demonstration on that. Maybe. And yeah, I know this is kind of a weird uh, look here without light, but I want to just highlight this because of all the cool stuff you can do. In fact, um, since I have these instructions here, I want to see what it's capable of. And uh, But first, I want to make sure I'm hitting the right keys here. Uh, there's also animation uh, speed increase, okay, and then decrease. 
Okay, uh, that uh, controls the wave effect. I want to make sure I'm hitting the right button here. Uh, let's see, maybe I better do a better demonstration like this. Oh man, I've already lost track here. Ah, okay. Mm. Okay, I'm losing track of stuff like this, doing it at this angle. <laughs> okay, one thing I do want to demonstrate is uh, this feature. Hopefully I'm going to hit the right buttons at this angle. Okay, see that? It's going in there. Okay, you can do a lot of cool stuff with this. This is a cool gaming keyboard. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah, who's hosting the rave now? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, I've also discovered I can just go with one color. Hmm, I can also do that too. There's a lot I'm discovering about this. There is so much, okay, I'm getting the feeling like this is, is a lot you can do on this. And uh, let's see, hmm, ooh. Oh, there's a rainbow mode. I definitely gotta try that. Ooh, here we go. Ah, there's so much we can do. There's a rainbow pinwheel mode. I'm definitely trying that. Whoa, DJ Mark in the house. Okay. Okay, I decided to turn the lights back on just so I can uh, get a normal view here. And I have to admit, uh, there is so much you can do. And I've discovered that uh, the metal stuff on the bottom is like you can like switch out the weights and stuff like that, switch out the top as we've uh, demonstrated. There's a lot you can do with this keyboard. Hey everybody, I thought I was going to end my video, but it turns out I wasn't done. Because, well, funny thing happened. This FedEx package arrived, and I thought, hey, uh, what's in here? And it turns out it was one of these things. This is their Galactic, I believe it's called, uh, cover. And I'm going to take this off if I can. I've had issues with this thing. There we go. There we go. Let's, I'm going to, oh, <laughs> I had the cord put in there, so whoops. Okay, I'm taking this thing off. And, hello, we're gonna put on this thing. Okay. All right, I wanna give you a good shot of it here. This is what it looks like. Oh man, okay, hang on. Ooh. Okay, can we, can we focus please, focus? There we go, finally focus on that. Look at that, that looks really nice. You know what, also, I'm gonna put in this thing, just so you can see what it looks like when it's all lit up and nice. Yeah, anyway, okay. Sorry about that, that I had to uh, do that. And you know what, I just remembered something. Um, during my review, I said that it didn't come with those little tweezer things to remove the keyboard keys from it. It does come with it. Okay, so I was wrong on that. I should have looked in the box a bit more. So, okay, now we can reach the end of the review. Sorry, I had to just kind of tack this on, but uh, you know, if I had reviewed this earlier this week, I would have even never even got to this. I got this uh, cover thing just yesterday from FedEx. So, oh man, uh, life is kind of interesting right now. Okay, so I think that's about all I can say about this keyboard now, but I want to go into greater detail on my article that I'm going to write about this. And if you haven't read that yet, you should, probably should. Go to geekchurch.com, check it out. Let's see, uh, did I mention the price? Uh, the price is about $149, you can get it on the drop site now. Highly recommend you do, because this is pretty fancy and I'm liking this. But for now, this is Mark Rollins from the Geek Church, and I'm signing off.